looking for lighting that defines your style, Kitchener Lighting is for you. Here I am with Jeff Dross. Hi, Jeff. Hi, how are you? Fine, thank you. So tell us about light layering. It's big here at Kitchener. Absolutely. It's actually a very simple concept to light almost every room in the house. Just think of it in three different steps, an ambient layer, a task layer, and an accent layer. So let's, let me explain each of those layers so that it's easy for you to apply them to any room. Okay. An ambient layer is a general layer of light. It creates an even pool of light within that room. So in this image you see, uh, I have some semi-flush fixtures here that are located on the ceiling and they'll create a real nice even amount of light in the room. Secondly, you want to think about task lighting. There's some task lighting here right between us. And the task lighting is, in this case, in the kitchen, under cabinet lighting. Okay. In the bathroom, it would be the lighting that's at the mirror, so that you're, you can apply makeup and I can shave. And then accent is the decorative uh, product. The, the jewelry that you add into a room, the things that make the room look interesting and intriguing. Right. So it's a very simple concept. Okay. Remember three different things, and there are three simple answers. So ambient, accent, and task lighting. That's correct. Three different layers. Okay, tell me about low profile, why that's so important. Well, you know, a, a number of manufacturers that are making cabinet lighting are making uh, finished bottom cabinets. So they're not creating the unfinished wood or the unfinished underside of the upper cabinets. So when that, with that being the case, you want to have lighting fixtures that are going to be a little bit narrower, a little bit shallower, so that you're not going to notice that. I have one of our discs here, which is a, which is a very thin 3 eighths of an inch thick. Mm -hmm. And the cabinet lights that are under here are a half inch thick. Okay. So we can take a look at that very wow. thin, narrow profile. So when these are assembled to the underside of a cabinet, they're going, to, uh, they're going to disappear, and you're really not going to know that the lighting fixture is there. You're just going to be able to experience the amount of light on the counter. Right, and it's amazing because I'm standing right next to it, and you can't see the bulky light that you would normally Absolutely. see from hanging down from it. That's great. So we've talked about kitchens. Now tell me what you have as far as energy-efficient products. Well, Kishler has just introduced a full-line energy-efficient catalog, and it features a number of items that can be used across all areas of the home. Uh, energy-efficient lighting really is becoming much, much more important in the home because there are a number of laws that are being changed, some of the requirements to build energy-efficient homes and Energy Star homes really need to have uh, energy-efficient product. So while we looked at the under-cabinet lighting here, this is LED, very, very energy-efficient. There are also a number of fluorescent options, and uh, there are a number of LED options uh, that, that will work well in all different areas of the home. Great. So we've talked about energy-efficient products. We've talked about lighting in the kitchen. Now I want to take you over to the bathroom and have you show me what's best over there. Absolutely. Great. So how do you make that even perfect light that everybody's looking for in the bathroom? Well, you, you use the same three principles in the bathroom as you use in the kitchen. You need a task layer, okay. you need an ambient layer, uh -huh. and of course you want to make the room look nice, mm -hmm. so you'll need an accent layer as well. So, the first and most important thing in a bathroom would be the task. You need to apply makeup, I need to shave properly. In order to do that, we need to have a nice even amount of light on our face. Uh -huh. The best way to achieve that is to have a lighting fixture on the left side and a lighting fixture on the right side of the mirror. Okay. That should be your first choice. If you have a second opportunity for a lighting fixture in a bathroom, apply a light layer above. That can be a recessed can, could be a lighting fixture over the top of the, uh, of the mirror, but that would be the second, and, and that would be the optimum amount of light. If you remember the old Hollywood mirrors where there was a light across all three sides yes. of the mirror? Mm -hmm. They did that for a very good reason. It applied light to all three sides and it avoided creating shadows on our face so that we can do what we need to in a mirror. Right, and you guys have a great selection of pendants and um, you know larger lamps for above the mirror too. Absolutely. To, to really fit every space. Absolutely, a number of them are available here at the, in the booth and of course we have a full catalog catalog of, of lighting as well. Right, and I want to see some of the more decorative lighting that you have available. Come show me over here. Sure. 
So all you see is sparkle walking towards here. Yeah, well, you know, there is something of a trend now where people are using a lot more crystal, a lot more shiny surfaces on lighting. And I think these are some really nice examples and have been very well received for, uh, by our customers. They're small uh, pieces of uh, crystal shapes of little flora and some um, chrome polished branches. Uh, and it looks uh, makes for a very interesting uh, sconce type lighting, sure. as well as over the over the uh, bathroom uh, lights as well. And in this case, it's a relatively simple chandelier, but there is crystal additives, crystal bobash, and even some pearlized uh, uh, beading in in these items. I think you're seeing uh, a little bit more of a demand for some chrome fixtures, some uh, polished nickel fixtures, and we're trying to make certain that we have lighting that's going to fill those needs for the consumer. So these are accent lights, but they almost this one doubles almost as like a task light. Absolutely. Well, you're going to find that, especially in a bathroom, because of the smallness of the room, lighting is going to have to do some double duty. And if you think about the lining of the mirror, these can be hung in a lateral as well as a linear fashion. So we oh, can wrap a mirror, provide the light that we talked about in the bathroom from all different directions. Wonderful. Provide a lot of different dimensions for Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Okay, thanks Jeff. It's lighting that defines your style. For more information, go to Kitchler.com.